Have you ever wondered if love can really conquer all barriers? Racial differences, social classes, cultural gaps, you name it. Well, buckle up, because this story is about to challenge everything you thought you knew. Let me introduce you to Angela Gisela Brown, the first woman of largely African heritage to marry into a ruling European family. This is the fascinating story of an African-American woman, a European prince, and what transpired after marriage. Born on the 3rd of February 1958 in a small town called Bocas del Toro in Panama, her father Javier Francisco Brown was a businessman and her mother Silvia Maritza Burke was a stay-at-home mom. When she was five years old, her parents decided that life in Borca's town might not give their children the kind of upbringing they wanted and the type of business opportunities they wanted. So they moved to New York City, United States. Growing up in the rough areas of the busy city, Angela knew she wanted something different from what her parents had. She was determined to excel. And she did. Even back then, Angela carried herself with an elegance and grace that screamed royalty. She had impeccable taste and manners that set her apart from the crowd. She graduated from Parsons School of Design in 1980, receiving the Oscar de la Renta Gold Thimble Award. She was a stylist for three years before collaborating with a Hong Kong corporation to launch her fashion label, A. Brown. Later, she worked as a fashion director for the American fashion business Adrian Vitadini in Beverly Hills until 1999. Slowly, she started achieving her dreams and aspirations, but little did she know that this was just a stone in the ocean. In 1997, just when she was about 39, she met a young man who had captivated her heart at a private party in New York. She did not know that the man would be the person she would eventually learn to share her future with, and this man was no other than Prince Maximilian. Prince Maximilian Prince Maximilian of Liechtenstein, also known as Maximilian Nicolas Maria, was born on May 16, 1969, and is a Liechtenstein princely family member and a businessman. He is Prince Hans Adam II's second son with Princess Marie. The House of Liechtenstein is one of Europe's oldest royal families. Originating in what is now known as Lower Austria, the family gained lordship of Liechtenstein in 1699 and became sovereign princes of Liechtenstein in 1719. They continue to rule the little Alpine country as a constitutional monarchy. This long-established royal family includes Prince Maximilian of Liechtenstein. With a population of about 38,000, Liechtenstein is the sixth smallest country in the world, tucked away in the Alps between Austria and Switzerland. It has one of the greatest standards of living, despite its small size. As the second son of the reigning prince, Maximilian was born Prince of Liechtenstein. He grew up in Vadas, Liechtenstein and attended Liechtenstein Grammar School as a child. After graduating from high school in Liechtenstein, Prince Maximilian attended the Royal Military Academy Sandhurst in the United Kingdom. He briefly served in the Coldstream Guards before pursuing economics at the University of Zurich. After earning his degree, Maximilian attended additional military training at Austria's Theresian Military Academy. After finishing his exams at the Liechtenstein's Gymnasium in Vaduz, he attended the European Business School in Ostrichwinkel, Germany, and graduated in 1993. In 1998, he earned an MBA from Harvard Business School in Boston, Massachusetts. With an estimated net worth of over $3.5 billion, the Prince of Liechtenstein is the sixth wealthiest monarch in the world, even exceeding the royal family of Great Britain. Although Prince Maximilian, the second son, is highly privileged, he never expected to become king or queen. Instead, he was looking for a quiet, regular life and was determined to make his career beyond the customary royal duties. This took him to explore the city of New York, where he would meet the love of his life. The Controversies Angela and Max's relationship took off into something so heated that they realized they could not be without each other. They were each other's forever. However, love is just a feeling felt by two people and they need more than love to be together. Now, on top of being a black woman, which was already a huge deal back then, Angela was also 11 years older than Prince Max. 
Can you even imagine the scandals? The royal family probably had a few choice words about that. Also, Prince Maximilian was not just a prince from a small town, but a wealthy individual from an influential family. Just imagine the obstacle they would face trying to get the approval of just the parents, excluding the royal board. The prince took the bold step because family was also important to him. So, before proposing to her, he received permission from his father, Prince Hans Adam II, in 1999. In 1999, he popped the popular question of forever, and of course Angela said a big yes. However, the different public would try their happiness and private opinions that would later fly around. Prince Maximilian's decision to marry a woman of black color and another race stunned many in Liechtenstein. Not only was the prince expected to marry a beautiful lady from his hometown, but everyone expected his wife to be of royal blood. The unspoken question of why took a turn for different speculation. Angela had to deal with a lot of hate and discrimination because of her skin color and non-European background. Some rumors saying she was just in it for Max's money and royal status started swirling in the public. Some saw this union as a harbinger of the monarchy's decline, labeling it the end of an era. A few felt insulted that the blood of a black man would be mixed with their royal line, even if this royal line was not the direct successor of the throne. Regardless of the obstacles and the criticisms, these two held on strong. It is no surprise that Angela did not break. After all, she had proven herself over the years to be resilient and focused without giving in to the challenges of success. The Wedding and a New Family Prince Maximilian married Angela civilly on 21st of January 2000 in Vaduz, Liechtenstein, and then religiously on the 29th of January 2000 at 11 a.m. at the Church of St. Vincent Fair in New York City in front of some 500 guests who came to celebrate with them. Unlike what many people might presume, Angela designed her wedding dress without any penny from Max showing that she was a woman of independent means. The new princess looked magnificent in her simple yet elegant wedding gown which was complemented with the Kinski tiara, an heirloom kept in the House of Liechtenstein since the 1870. After tying the knot, Angela wasn't just a regular wife anymore. She became a full-blown Countess of Reitberg and Princess of Liechtenstein. Hard to think of a bigger upgrade. They had their son, Prince Alphonse Constantin Maria of Liechtenstein, Count of Friedberg on the 18th of May 2001 in London, England, just a year after their wedding. For years, Angela and Max have been living that dual life, balancing their careers and royal duties while trying to keep their family out of the public eye as much as possible. They've been jet-setting between Liechtenstein, Panama and the US and UK, but always making sure to keep things low-key. They've been jet-setting between Liechtenstein, Panama, the US, and the UK, but always making sure to keep things low-key. So you might be wondering, where are they now, over two decades later? The 2006 wedding of Countess Elizabeth in Belgium was one instance of an exception where they were caught outside their home in a more social setting, and more recently, in, in 2015, Princess Angela agreed to a loan interview in which she talked about Panamanian tourism. They also avoid the media and shield their son from them, even if some of his photos are available online. Where are they now after 24 years? The couple presently lives in Liechtenstein's capital as Prince Maximilian is the chairman of the LGT Group, a private banking and asset management company owned by the princely house of Liechtenstein. For one, they are still happily married. Over the years, Prince Max took over as JP Morgan Partners' German branch manager in 2003. He also serves in several capacities in the Liechtenstein government as a member of the princely family and patronizes several organizations such as the Liechtenstein Scout Organization and the Liechtenstein Musical Company. The prince has also backed national programs to foster innovation and economic growth. Prince Maximilian is a keen sportsman in his free time, especially in football, tennis, and skiing. He's also interested in sculpting and modern art. With the assistance of the prince, a vast collection of European art over the last two centuries has been assembled. You'd think that with all that money and power, Prince Maximilian would be living it up in some fancy palace. 
But nope. These days, he'd much rather spend his free time at his home in Liechtenstein with his wife Angela and their son Alonso. Finally, Liechtenstein illustrates the exceptional prosperity of its monarchy despite its small population, serving as a monument to the contrast between size and wealth. Prince Maximilian's decision to live a modest life despite his royal ancestry highlights the unique fusion of luxury and individual autonomy in such prestigious households. Upon contemplating the exceptional voyage of Prince Maximilian and Princess Angela, it is impossible to resist the question. How many other tales of love and perseverance lay untold? Their love story broke through several barriers and defied traditions. But we want to hear from you. What other societal rules do you think need to be challenged in today's world? Share your thoughts in the comment section below and also remember to like, share and subscribe to this channel.